All right, back at y'all with some more boxing news and updates. You already know this your boy Love When I Hate One. Let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. And I want to get deep on this fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. Now, I know a lot of people don't want to see this fight, and technically I don't neither. But I don't think it's a bad fight like everybody is trying to make it seem like. Assuming Jake Paul don't pull off no bullshit, which I feel he may do, but we're going to get into that in a little minute. But if Mike Tyson look anywhere near what he looked like against Roy Jones, then I feel like he can beat Jake Paul. And this is a real fight. I don't feel like it's going to be an exposition. Even though Jake Paul, he's a hoe for taking this fight. Let me say that. I know it's a mega fight and stuff like that. But if you're going to fight Mike Tyson in that type of fight, at least make it an exposition where it don't count. It's clearly just a charity match or a popularity match, right? Where you're just going to make a lot of money and you guys really can't go for the kill. Same shit like what happened with Roy Jones and Mike Tyson. So it's not like we're really complaining about the damn fight. It's just that Jay Paul's going to act like he just really beating the Mike Tyson in the prime or something. You know, the thing that bothers me the most about Jay Paul is the fact like when he beats these guys, he act like he beats a legit contender. Like his last two opponents, he's celebrating like he just won a fucking world title. I don't mind him taking these fights because uh, I get it. You're trying to build your resume up and... Uh, I get it, you know, it's pretty obvious what the hell you're doing, but don't be acting like you beat a world beater or some shit like that. Just like you're gonna act if you beat Mike Tyson. You guys, Jake Paul, we know he's a clown. That's why it's not shocking that he picked Mike Tyson. So we can't even get mad at this shit. But Jake Paul, on the other hand, as long as you don't pull no bullshit and you fight Mike Tyson at heavyweight, cool. But don't pull no bullshit like the weight drain shit like you did to Hasim Rotman Jr. But I don't know. Is Jay Paul going to do that? I don't know. I feel like he could have some type of weight clause to the point where Mike Tyson can't come above 215 or 220. You know how Jay Paul get down. I just hope it don't happen. But about the actual fight itself, I feel like Jay Paul could get knocked out by Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson still hits very hard. We all know power is the last thing to go. Yeah, I know Mike Tyson is 100 years old. But what's crazy, I really feel like Mike Tyson, old ass, can still knock Jake Paul the fuck out. I still feel that way. Jake Paul, in my opinion, he ain't faced nobody that hit as hard as Mike Tyson. Especially if he don't pull off this weight drain bullshit. If Mike Tyson gets to come at his natural weight and gets to fight at his natural weight, because you well, I'm, I'm not gonna even say natural weight because at the heavyweight division, we know any weight you come in is acceptable. So if Jake Paul grows a sack and don't try to weight drain Mike Tyson, then I feel like Jake Paul could be in for a rude awakening in this fight. My God, I would love to see it. Jake Paul just feel like he's gonna come in this fight and just do something spectacular to the point where he's gonna gain a lot of money, a lot of fans. You're not gonna do none of that shit. Especially if you try to wait, Drain Mike. A lot of people love Mike and respect Mike. And a lot of people's gonna be biased for Mike, including myself. Even if you win, let me tell you this, man. It's funny that I said that, right? Because Jake Paul is in a no win situation against Mike Tyson. Even if you win, the only thing you're gonna win is money. Yeah, you may have more people know who you are, but they're not gonna like you because really everybody fucks with Mike. But Jake Paul don't give a fuck anyway because Jake Paul likes being a villain. So if you think about it, it might be kind of a smart move for Jake Paul to do this shit. Maybe more people will hate me as long as they tune in. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't really think about it that way until now. So Jake Paul knocks out Mike Tyson and everybody's going to really hate him. But more people is going to watch him more to see him lose. Like let's say Jake Paul knocks out Mike Tyson. Everybody that he faces, they're going to hope and pay to see Jake Paul lose. So this villain role that Jake Paul is portraying could actually favor him. Because I hope Mike Tyson knocks his ass out. 
And boy, man, that will make my day if Mike Tyson knocks his ass the fuck out, which I feel like he has a very big chance of doing. Jake Paul is limited. Jake Paul, yes, he has power. But like I said, if you don't wait, drain Mike Tyson, I feel like Jake Paul power is not going to mean much. Because Mike Tyson, he never had a bad chin. Yeah, he been stopped before, knocked out, of course. But he never been like, snoring on the canvas or no shit like that you know i just feel like it was mostly technical stoppages for the most part so mike tyson i think he'll be all right in this fight the main thing i'm worried about is if they make it a 10 round fight mike tyson we know he smokes weed that's number one number two i don't think he has the stamina he never really has stamina like that even in the earlier days of his career even in mike tyson prime his stamina wasn't crazy so just imagine at the age he is now so depending on the stipulations and the regulations of this fight i don't know how mike tyson is going to be able to win this fight i just hope maybe they make it a draw to the point no guy really loses i could see that too and they just get a big payday. Maybe the fight can be rigged and they both could tell each other behind closed doors, you know, let's not go too hard on each other and let's make it that way. I could see that as well. Or maybe Jake Paul just go in this fight and actually try to knock out Mike Tyson and just be the bad guy and be that villain for the rest of his career. Me, I just can't wait to hear the rules of the fight. That's my thoughts on it, really, you guys. And I'm just letting you guys know how I feel about it. And... Let me know yours. I'm out.